Hey everyone, welcome back to a new Boom Beach video. I am here on my HQ25 account, and this is the second video after the new update. We have all my little Halloween characters upgrading my weapon lab. Let's boost up all of our resource reward, jump into some bases, and try to farm some loot. The goal today is to gym this up, using Code Cosmic of course, and uh, hopefully have enough loot for the next one. And we also have the Halloween Crab. Jimmy made a video on that yesterday if you want to see that type of gameplay. But I need to get this weapon lab upgraded. This is a very big upgrade and I really want to make videos with four proto troops. So that's really only going to happen if I'm able to do this today. So I need to get this done. So we're just going to be rocking with the bombardiers and heavies a combination i really haven't used too much anytime i come across a player that has a shield generator this is my go-to combination just because it's so so strong whenever i'm pushing inevitably i run to this combination because eventually everyone on your map is going to be rocking the shield generator or just have an absurd amount of building health or building damage and Warrior attacks get a little bit more dicey. I can do this on boosted and defeat most players, but if I'm attacking a base that has a shield generator or just an absurd amount of building health, like over 100%, warrior attacks just is not the thing. So I have to rock with the bombardier heavy combination. A lot of top players though, don't bring the heavies. Instead, they'll bring riflemen. I made a video about that a few uh, a while ago, probably probably about four months ago or something, um, rocking with the rifleman bombardier combination, and it was a little weird, you know. I think it works better at a higher level, uh, where heavies just die too fast, and rifleman is kind of where the meta is at. But I mean, it, it still is a very strong combination. I just like like being able to just drop all of my troops at once because when you're using the rifleman heavies, I think. I think this is what the top players do. They drop one boat of riflemen and kind of always have a line of riflemen going into the base. So you can't just drop all of your troops at once and just watch them defeat the base. You kind of have to be a little bit more strategic, which when you're clearing your map for time, I, I don't know, it just feels a little weird. But this guy has a shield generator. This guy has some blue statues. It would have been a tough base to attack with warriors. Um, probably wouldn't be able to do it if I was on boosted, but I probably would be able to do it if I had my gumbo energy boosted and maybe something else. But anyway, uh, the shield generator you'll see isn't really doing much. I don't really like all of his defenses clumped together, not defenses, all of his support buildings clumped together. I can easily drop a few artillery and take them out. The only thing helping him is his building health which means I can't drop one artillery to break them. That's really the only thing that is saving him from other people attacking him and just exploiting that and getting a bunch of free energy. Okay, here's a player that is pretty easy. This is the typical Boom Beach player I come across. If I've had to pick an average Boom Beach base, this is what it would be. It's a level 67, level 68, something like that. With their HQ in the middle, you know, a shock launcher before the base or before the core, a shock launcher after the core, rocket launchers on every side. <laughs> it's just a, a very average looking Boom Beach base. And if you play Boom Beach for a long period of time, this is the type of base you'll see most often. It's so weird how things have changed so much in the course of Boom Beach. Oh, very long time ago i'm trying to think of an exact time definitely the first couple years of boom beach it was all about corner bases everyone had a corner base uh, the top players had corner bases everyone had a corner base just because i think there were not as many defenses so having a corner base uh, was probably the game crashes so much now after this update hopefully they're working on a fix but the corner bases were definitely the meta. And then as we got more defenses, uh, more space to fill up, it turned out that having your core in the middle of the base, kind of what I call a front-loaded base, where you come off the beach, it's a hot beach, there's defenses hitting the beach, and the core is kind of in the middle, everything is up front in your face, you don't have to walk through the entire base to get to the core. Uh, 
it just is a front-loaded base. So I don't know if that's the right term for it, but that's just what I always coined that term as. Um, but now this is the meta. But honestly, I feel like sometimes corner bases are probably better if you don't have a ton of health statues or if you don't have a lot of high level defenses. I don't know, it's weird. It, it's very hard to defend when you're a player that is average for your level. So your level, you're, you're attacking players that are around your level on your map. Like the majority of players that come up on your map are around your level. They're not like 10 levels higher. If they're 10 levels higher, you're way too high in medals, which is good, that's good. That's not a bad thing. Um, you get way more loot, you're able to uh, just farm a lot better because higher level players have more loot. So this is what I call kind of like a backloaded base design. Um, so yeah, that's good. So don't worry about that being high in metals. I mean, a downfall to that is you just won't be able to defend. But the way I see it is there are top level players, not top level players, there are max top players or high level players at any victory point range. Get offensive stuff down. Don't worry about defenses. Don't worry about defending. Um, and just rock that. I wish Boom Beach was more about defending than it is. Like, I admit, I think it would be really fun to be more strategic about base designs and stuff. There's just so many different play styles, so many different people playing Boom Beach. So many, such a wide range for levels and skill. It's just, it's very, very hard to, gosh, this shock blaster is going to wipe me out if I don't take it out now. rocket launcher we'll take that out and we should be fine um forgot what i was saying but it's very hard to defend that's that's the bottom line no matter if you have a corner base no matter if you have a front loaded base a back loaded base they're all pretty much the same in my opinion they're very easy to attack unless of course you have a ton of health statues a ton of damage statues a bunch of prototypes then it gets a lot harder but it's very easy to def or, or to attack bases in Boo Beach. The offense is just so strong, and everyone around you seems like they're a higher level. Until you're like level 17, <laughs> then you're pretty much at the top, so there's nowhere else to go. All right, here's a level 71. The grind continues, just trying to get a bunch of loot. This base looks a little difficult, if I'm being honest. Just all the mines and prototypes in the front of the base. I think we'll be fine, but think it's a, a good anti-warrior base if I'm being honest like a very strong anti-warrior base a bunch of mines around the core perfect that's exactly what you want in my mind the, in my mind um the best way to counter warriors is mines like that's the bottom line like yes you can get flamethrowers and machine guns around your core which is always what I tell people like get a, at least a few prototypes uh, or a few flamethrowers machine guns around your core to help defend against warriors but the bottom line is if you can set up your mines in a way that makes warrior attacks very difficult like if i was attacking this base i would have to spend half my energy clearing mines with warriors that's a lot that's a lot now luckily not a lot of players use warriors but in my mind the other combinations people use aren't really hurt by mines like most players are using tanks like if we look at who's attacking me there's tanks uh bullet defeating me with bullet <laughs> what <laughs> this man is smurfing on me or something <laughs> There's definitely a flaw to my base design if he's able to attack me with bullet. He has a ton of energy though. Yeah. I have these defenses or these support buildings set up this way to try to get people to flank my base and then they get slaughtered, but it doesn't look like it's working. Anyway, I didn't realize I had all these stacked up. I haven't touched my base design in years, guys. That's why it's like this, but Good for him, able to take me out. Back to what I was saying. There's uh, Grenadiers, Bombardiers. Um, we have Scorchers. Okay, so not as many people as I thought were attacking my base with tanks. 
but definitely at a lower level, tanks are way more used before you get bombardiers, before you get grenadiers. Tanks are tanks are the meta. Um, is that all? That sucks. But luckily, I have like 250% building health. So we'll just attack the first couple stages of this and get a little bit more loot. And then we should be able to upgrade the weapon lab. Yeah, tanks don't get hurt by mines. <laughs> so set up your mines in a way that counters warriors. Don't worry about any other combination. Set up your defenses other than your mines in a way that counters other troops. Of course, it is important to have your shock launchers covering your core just for a little extra warrior protection. But in my mind, mines are for countering warriors and defenses are for countering other troop combinations. And your defense is set up in a way that will counter warriors along with other troop combinations. That's the perfect meta. Now, I'm not saying my base design is perfect. Obviously, it's not. We just saw someone take down my base with bullet. But I think that it's important to know that people are gonna attack your base and I don't really care. I don't really care. I'm not I'm not pushing, I'm not trying to get up like look at this open space. Like clearly there's something wrong here that got messed up over time. I'm just Oh, it's definitely my weapon lab or something. I took something over here for yeah. Well this was over here. I don't really know guys. <laughs> my base has been touched and messed up so many times I haven't really touched it for a while. So let's just do a clean reset back to this base. Let's do it. Okay, we still have that open space and a bunch of new def. Anyway, okay, whatever. We're gonna gym this up. We're gonna upgrade it. And in four days, we're gonna be able to drop down four proto troops. We have a ton of gold too. Uh, yes, we are upgrading something already so we can't upgrade anything else and I can't really do anything with my gold. So I hope you enjoyed this video. <sighs> that sucks, that sucks. Okay, we're gonna keep this for a while, I think, and then use my wood safe when the tribes reset. When do tribes reset? Eight days? No, we're not gonna wait that long. So let's gym up this or boost up that and convert and then use our it was wood safe, right? I just want to make sure. Yeah, it's wood safe. Okay, we we'll use our wood safe. And then we'll just spend it all. <laughs> and then we'll collect this. And then we can send out our sub again. That was a pain. That was a pain. Okay, 1 million gold. There goes a little bit of our gold. There goes the rest of our gold. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please drop a like if you did. And I will talk to you all in the next Boom Beach video. Bye, guys.